Hi guys, Dr. Rajratna here. So we'll see these five questions. So first question about cavitatory lesions in pneumonia. So cavitation is characteristic of Staph aureus. So cavitation is a thick walled cavity basically. Now what are thin walled cavities called? Thin walled cavities with fluid levels are called pneumatoceles. Again, characteristically seen in Staph aureus. Now why not A in this particular question? Cavitatory lesion is seen only in post primary or secondary tuberculosis here the option says primary tuberculosis so that is not the option then what is seen in primary tuberculosis you remember gone focus yes that fibrocaceous lesion which is seen as consolidation and not as cavity so what are the organisms causing cavitation so let's remember a mnemonic staph and is a pseudo klepto so staph Staph aureus and anaerobic organisms, pseudo, pseudomonas and klepto to remember klepsiella. Question number two, round pneumonia. Round pneumonia by streptococcus pneumoniae. It is due to the collateral air drift ka absence. So it looks like a tumor mass and it's a differential diagnosis when you see masses in the lung, especially in children. So round pneumonia seen in streptococcus pneumoniae. Third question about patterns of pneumonia. We have three patterns, lobar, lobular and interstitial. Lobar damages the air spaces. So it's an air space disease. Lobular damages the terminal bronchioles. Now interstitial, it affects type 1 pneumocytes. So let's remember lobar, lobular and interstitial as A, B, C. Lobar, airway, lobular, bronchioles and interstitial cells so that makes it a b c okay now low bar what are the organisms mainly streptococcus pneumoniae and klebsiella so here there is consolidation which is homogeneous and non-segmental now going to lobular now lobular there is segmental consolidation and what are the organisms here staph for lobular and gram negative organisms and anaerobes right so low bar Streptococcus pneumoniae and Klebsiella, lobular, Staph aureus, gram-negative organisms and anaerobes. Now coming to the third pattern of pneumonia, interstitial. So here we have reticular and small nodular opacities involving the interstitium, no consolidation, no air bronchogram. So where do we see bron air bronchograms typically in low bar? Whereas in interstitial, you neither see consolidation nor see any air bronchograms. So next question is atypical pneumonia. So atypical pneumonia is characterized by interstitial pneumonitis and the bronchular walls and the cells, mucosal cells are affected. So what do you see on x-ray? We don't see consolidation. We don't see air bronchograms. So what exactly we see? We see linear and reticular opacities or small micronodular opacities on x-ray and clinically there is a dry cough in atypical pneumonia. Now organisms causing atypical pneumonia is important. Now primary organism we all know mycoplasma pneumonia and there is another set of organisms so I have a funny mnemonic I am imagining my PM Prime Minister in VLCC. You all know VLCC? Okay. So PM. So M we've already seen mycoplasma pneumoniae. So the P pneumocystis, pneumocystis gyrovesiae, V virus, L legionella, C coxiella, another C chlamydia but this is chlamydia pneumoniae not my chlamydia trachomatis, chlamydia pneumoniae. Okay last question is about pneumocystis pneumonia. So two things about this it affects alveoli and the other thing it affects the interstitium. So what are the changes we see in the alveoli? So the intraalveolar changes are lot of exudates and what is the characteristic of these exudates? It's eosinophil rich, it's foamy and vacuolated. And how do we know this? Because we stain the lavage the, using what stains? MTP. What is MTP? Methenamine silver stain, toluidine blue and papanicolo stain. Now what about the interstitial changes? So the interstitial pneumonitis basically affects type 1 pneumocytes, right? So what is the change that we see in type 2? So type 2, there's going to be compensatory hypertrophy, all right? And 
Now, when this pneumocystis affects adults, there is predominantly A wala involvement. That means alveola. Adults, alveoli. A for A. Infants, I for I. Infants, interstitial involvement. Alright. So, here we go. Five questions. So, listen to this carefully and repeat after me. And you keep revising, revising, revising. 